Hey guys, uh, I'm doing a tutorial. Uh, this is how to make a cutscene with subtitles on the bottom of your screen so you can have your characters talking to each other um, and whatnot. So, first thing you're going to want to take your, uh, well, your animation. You're going to want to open it. And as you can see here, I have an idol uh, for a fighting animation. And during this animation, I'm going to want a cutscene to play with subtitles of this character talking to another character. So, in order to add a camera, you're going to want to go to this selection right here and add, convert it to a Moon 2 file, and as you can see here, you have your camera. Now, in the beginning of my uh, cutscene at zero frames, I want the camera to be at this position that my current camera is at right now. So what you want to do is you want to click C frame once and then again. And as you can see, you've created a camera. So now, if I were to move over here, and I were to restart the frame, I would always come back to this current location. That's how you know you've set up a camera. So at about, at about we'll say, 52 frames. I was going to do a 50. Should about 50 frames. 49. Uh, I want an over-the-shoulder view. So right about here. So I'll hit C-frame again, and we'll add a second camera. Now, after a few seconds, uh, we'll say about 120-ish, um, we'll have it come to right here. So we'll hit C-frame again, and there we have it. Now, a few more, and what we'll do is we'll have it so it comes to right about here. Hit it, and, and lastly, we want it to end up here. Boom. Now if I hit play, control H to hide it, and play. As you can see, our animation is playing with the actual camera movement system. And now all we have left to do is add subtitles. So, in order to add subtitles, you want to go to item, select add effects, and go over here to subtitles. Select subtitles and you'll see that you added subtitles. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is at the certain scene you want it to play, so at, at the very first uh, opening part, we want him to say hello. Um, so what you wanna do is you want to add text. So we can see that by double clicking text, you can add text here. Now if you wanna change what this text says, you click on the text and change your string value to whatever you'd like it to say. So I want it to say hello. So as you can see, it spawned in our text at the bottom. And right about, let's say here, we'll have our, our new text. We'll spawn in a new text by selecting text once again. And change our string to hello from, or from hello to how are you. Now I should change to how are you. And then we'll say, add another text, and this time we'll have it say, I am a good fighter. There we go. Now if I hit play, so control H and space bar, hello, it moves from hello to how are you to I am a good fighter. And that's what we wanted. So... Now, say you want it to look just the slightest bit nicer. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add more text. So we'll, con we'll copy that. We'll paste it right next. Oh, if I can. text add the text boom 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 depending on how many letters are in your on your sentence or word so in hello there are one two three four five letters so one two three four five individual texts so now in the first one instead of your string saying hello you just want it to be the first letter so I'll confirm that in the next one you just want it to be the first two letters and so on
and there we go. Now when I play it, it should spell out the words for us. See, there we have it. I'll try that again. And there we have it. Now you can do this to the rest. Alrighty, there you have it. That's how to make a cutscene with subtitles at the bottom of your screen. That's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.